Hey yo, Phantom BC in here, going to be reacting to Black Lightning Season 4, Episode 11, so let's get to reacting. We need the stolen metagenes to prove that our theory is right. Now would you please just stick to the plan? Stick to it. Calm down. Uh oh. I'm good. Be there soon. Why are you lying? Check all cameras at the warehouse. Yeah, he's gonna see JJ. Katie and I run a DNA scan on both Jennifer Pierce and JJ. Scanning database. We're gonna see who this damn lightning bug really is. Last night I'm We're gonna find out. Oh, my powers. Oh, I feel like I'm missing a limb. Like I'm half a man or something. And you'll get him back soon. You're gonna have to take the plea deal. Uh oh. Why? I'm innocent. I can make sure you have minimal jail time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't jail want time. that, man. No, hell no. We're not doing this. Yo, what the hell is Khalil? We're not taking a plea deal. Look, as her husband, I'm telling you, we are not accepting a plea deal. First of all, you're her ex-husband. Yeah. After Councilman Collins' withdrawal from the race, Tobias Whale has won the election. Damn. Now he just needs the board. Reads, Sir, Chief Lopez has arrived. Yo, was the chief working for this man this whole time? Can you arrange for more second gen DEGs? I actually may have something better. What? Uh, what are those? Meta boosters, my friend. You carry guns because the bad guys do. Why not carry powers for the same reason? Mm -mm -mm. Don't do it, chief. Excellent choice. Hypocrite. Now you know, Jen, JJ, same person. So our mystery JJ is Jennifer Pierce. Tobias educated himself on metagenes when he was in the pit. And now he's had the emitter belt. And next generation DEGs. Plus he's stockpiling metagenes and he took our powers. He's picked up right where the ASA left off. Yup, unfortunately. Uh, but I actually reached out to help you. I've been in touch with TC and he told me you were set up. Now, there is one entry who's getting seriously paid, but we can't find an ID. How's my data trail? You got a name? More like a code name. Looker. Yeah, let's Looker. see her on the damn show again. I don't know who that is. Tobias must have paid her to make people set you up. That's why the framing was so good. Was that it? I'm going to need her alive, though. You'll work with me, Mr. P. I got you. I hope so. Khalil got a ledger from Tobias's accountant. Turns out we can prove that he paid Looker to set us up. Looker? I thought she was gone. We all thought she was gone. Of gone. How did you find Khalil? I didn't. He kept up with TC. I have an idea for a serum that can extract it from anybody that she controls. Perfect. Coincidence. We need to help us with this. I tapped into the dark web and I gained access to Uriah's IG account and realized that someone hacked it before me. Yep. That's who sent you the message to meet up with me. I thought that it was best that you and Uriah make things right by going on a date. What? Do we got time for this? Date with Uriah? We have a serum and we need to slip to him. It'll, it'll let us know if he is under her control. And if he is, it'll free him. You gonna help him out? You're a federal agent. Have you lost your damn mind? Let me think on this. You're meeting with Black Lightning, right? How the hell did you know that? Really, detective? You didn't put two and two together yet? Damn. You got this whole place for us? <laughs> I would take credit for this, but TC had the hookup. <laughs> More like COVID-19 filming guidelines. Drinking from the Put it in his head to drink. Make a statement. Are you ready to confess? Yes. Oh, really? Now, I will start from the beginning and give you every single detail. You mean all the lies? No, no, no. The God's honest truth. Hey, how many times are you going to be drinking? It's a long story. All right. But if you bear with me, I promise you, you won't be disappointed. There you go. Agent Mason. I 
could have killed you in South Greyland. Yeah. <gasps> that algorithm that I created is designed to locate the emitter. And frankly, I could use your help with it. Why should I believe anything you say? Much less help you. Because you still love him, damn it. And you know it. You know you it. Damn it now. Tobias has stolen metagenes from pregnant women. And he's using your R&D department to do it. Uh oh. That's telling me he's gonna kill the boy. Damn, he did. My powers keep fading on me. So it's not your emotions. No, it's something else. Probably the same thing that took everybody's powers is trying to get me again. She's not that strong. Stop beating yourself up, man. Oh. Oh, he did. Long time no see. Are you looking? Well, ain't I? Like, yo, you didn't see that coming? You're going to do as I say. Yeah, I don't think so. Really? There we go. I was hoping she would meet him first. Damn. Give up, looker. Yo, Jefferson says don't kill her. You have no idea who you're messing with. Well, I know exactly. He does. Tobias, well, your powers are gone. Your men, they're gone. And so is your money train. Take the L, cooperate, and you'll get the rest of the anabin. Listen to him. I built that emitter to put good in the world. I won't stand by while my invention's being perverted. Man, he knows he's doing it because you love him too. I'm getting something. It's coming from underground. That's why Mona Vista came to Freeland. Your higher ups knew that this band of Prometheum ran underneath the city. Now we'll never find the emitter by scanning for Prometheum. It's everywhere. Yikes. Agent Mason is free of Looker, and Khalil captured her, and Hassan is on his way to pick her up right now. <sighs> See, now you have to take the freaking plea deal. He was right about one thing. Oh. Well, Don't do it. Grayson and this for a real wedding reception. Freeze. Ishmael. I have some loose ends I need to tie up. Uh oh. Kalia versus Ishmael. So, not gonna lie, I enjoyed this episode of Black Lightning way more than the previous episode at that. I think the only thing I just did not like about this episode was the whole Dryer thing. Because you introduce us a new character. This happens like pretty much in any like, you know, final season. When you introduce, you know, the audience to like a new character, is it gonna be a hit and a miss? And if it's a hit, okay, good. You actually establish a new character for your final season, even though I didn't want this new character or so, and it was enjoyable. Or it could be a mess where it's like, damn, you could have used that time and effort that you devoted with this, you know, new character and actually use it on a pre-existing one, a new character or even an already established storyline that you just did not have enough time. Like, come on, guys. So I was in the writing room was like, you know what? If we're just going to kill off Drya, just don't even introduce this new love interest, you know, for JJ at all. Because every other episode when you have Painkiller... He's always bringing up the fact that he misses Jen and he wants to see her. So why on earth are you just going to introduce a new love character, new love interest, and then just have him die? Like, what the hell? At that. Like, seriously, though. And speaking of Painkiller now, ever since that episode, I saw that spin off, you know, back to a pilot episode. I'm like, I'm not really feeling this, you know. If it, if it does come out, I may watch it. I won't react to it. It's whatever. And every single episode I'm seeing, you know, Khalil slash Painkiller, I'm like, I'm enjoying seeing this guy on screen to the point that 
I'm kind of now looking forward to this damn spinoff. But that's if it gets greenlit, though. Because it, this fight scene alone that he had with Looker, and you had freaking Black Rob's whoa in that. Yo, yo, yo. Automatically 10 out of 10 fight scene in this season. I don't care what they're going to give us for the final two episodes in terms of fight scenes. That's probably going to be like my favorite one of all of them. Because one, this is all said and done. I really rewatch season one, two, and three into four again. I'm going to be ranking some fight scenes. And possibly this might be like one of my favorites. Because even how he even like encountered Looker, I'm surprised he didn't like expect her to do that. Like you're going to go up against a meta human, know what their meta ability is, and be prepared for it. Because the moment she pretty much saw him, boom! <laughs> she thought that she can end up controlling Kalia. But nope. You have messed with the wrong person at that. And gosh, just again, love seeing her. Even though every time I see her, I'm just thinking of Eloise in the plaza. <laughs> because that's literally the same actress who plays Eloise. So it's like, it's good like nostalgia there for me, though. What else happened in this damn episode? The detective, whose name I can never remember. It's funny how in that scene, when there was a re reveal that he is Black Lightning, he was shocked. I'm like, you had no inkling at all that that guy was Black Lightning? And all, and it's funny because in some scenes when he's talking to Black Lightning, it kind of insinuates that, okay, maybe he's on to him, that he knows that he's Jefferson, but not in this episode. I'm like, wow, I thought this detective was smart, ahead of his class. But nope, he couldn't figure that out. And honestly, if he couldn't figure that out, again, just reiterates us time and time again, that Freeland can't put two and two together. That Jefferson Pierce is Black Lightning. But hey, Tobias found out. <laughs> like, hell, oh, and he's pretty much like on the case with Khalil. Like, oh, so you're trying to, you know, break my plans, try to break the Jefferson Pierce family? Ishmael is going to go after him now. So I can't wait to see how that fight scene actually happens, which is actually good now because, again, you still have JJ whose abilities are still wonky. It's either from the freaking. I'm going to say humidifier, but it's probably I'm saying it wrong. Or it's because ever since she went in the freaking spear and that thing was left up in the air, that also can be the whole problem as well. So let's see how that goes down. But damn. Just, I think I'm missing like one more thing. Oh, yeah. Lynn, you're free. Do I have to take that freaking plea deal? They bring up the whole let's get a married thing, and I don't even still see that happening. Like, even how Jefferson, like, oh, maybe we should get remarried. She dodged the question, talking about, oh, let's have a real wedding reception, you know, for our daughter. I'm like, but when he brought it up again, he's like, oh, let's just celebrate. I'm like, yo, it ain't going to happen. That's pretty much a no. You don't hear a yes, you hear a no. Drop it, Jeff. Move on. Just move on. I'm telling you. But, oh, my gosh, though. But, uh, I think that pretty much covered like all the points. But if there's a point in this episode I did not cover, if you want to talk about it, there's the comment section, people. I am fan of be saying I am, signing off.